Hey guys, my name is Stan and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at the Razer Strider mouse pad desk mat, uh, this thing right here. Um, and let me tell you why. I think this is a great little accessory that uh, if you're in the market, you should totally check this thing out. For the longest time now, I have been using this little mouse pad. Uh, this is, I'm actually not sure what this is called anymore. This is a Razer mouse pad, a hybrid mouse pad that's been out for five or six years now, even longer actually. Uh, it's got a rubberized bottom and a fabric woven top. So these are hybrid mouse pads. So, and that's kind of the preference of what I like. I like hybrid mouse pads. Um, I like a little bit of soft give and like the a little bit of good control on it. So this is that's kind of where where you know my preference is. The Strider is a hybrid mouse pad that has a rubberized bottom and it's got a fabric or it's a fiber woven. I'm actually not sure if it's synthetic or it's, it's natural. I want to say it is just it's it's a woven material. It's got woven edges. It's got a little bit of squish uh, but not too much where your mouse is going to get bogged down and you can see it does slide pretty well. Uh, this is a Naga Pro and you can you know, spin it. It's got good amount of slide, but also not extreme to the point where it just keeps on sliding. So you got pretty good movement, but you also have decent control. And that's where the hybrid mouse pad kind of falls you know, in line with, with what you're looking for. Um, it's not too slick, it's not too grippy, it's just, in my opinion, perfect. The double XL version comes in at 36 and a half, 36 and three quarters of inch wide by 16 inches tall. So you can see this is a keyboard, you can place it on the keyboard on the mat and have a lot of space for your mouse. And it's just, it, it's great, it doesn't move. It's sticking in place and it's, it, it covers your desk really well. The other size that this comes in is a large, or, or I think it's called an extra large, and it's basically this right here. It's actually a very big uh, mouse mat. The, the small one is actually still a very big mouse mat, um, significantly larger than old mouse mats that Razer makes. I actually would have preferred it if they made a medium version because just the other stuff I have on my desk, it's either covering everything or I need a desk mat that covers everything or a small little thing for, for just the mouse. Um, unfortunately, the lar extra large is just a little bit too big for me. That's just me though. The mouse mat is advertised to have a hydrophobic uh, surface. So if you squirt some water on it, I'll check that out. That's actually pretty cool. Look how hydrophobic this thing is. Cleaning is very simple. As you saw, just squirt some water on it and wipe it off with a rag or a paper towel and then it's completely cleaned, ready to go. It's not even wet to the touch anymore or it's barely wet to the touch. So once you wipe it off, get all the water off, you can start using this gaming again. Um, it's a lot better than Let's say a regular, regular non-hydrophobic mouse mat. You can see this is a rubberized surface. That's no good. You can't use this. This mouse mat, on the other hand, once you wipe it off, you're ready to go again. Zooming into the edge, you can see here, the edge is very nicely woven. Um, there is no bump or there's very little of a bump. So as your mouse goes over the edge, which it's very unlikely seeing as this mat is so big, but there, it doesn't get caught on everything and it just kind of glides right over. So that's really nice. This woven edge being that it's woven from the top into the bottom here should prevent any fraying over time. We'll have to see uh, longevity wise, but uh, the quality on the stitching is really good. Razer does advertise this mouse mat as rollable or uh, portable. All you need to do is flip it over and you can roll this thing up. And if you're traveling somewhere, just roll it up and then you know, you're ready to go. 
Uh, I wouldn't roll it any tighter than this. This is kind of the tightness of how this mouse mat came in the package, uh, in the box. So you can imagine this thing was probably sitting in the box for hours, days, months, long time uh, before it was unpacked by me. And the moment it came out, it came out completely flat and there wasn't any creases. So uh, certainly if you were to use this, you know, have to package this away and use this to uh, be a portable, you can package it away, you can roll it up and it'll come out completely flat. All right, that's just a quick look at the Razer Strider mouse pad. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and comment down below. I'll also link these in the description down below for your convenience as well. And if you found this useful, hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.